Hey, good morning. Well, for me, it's good evening, because this is a recorded edition of Good Morning to God for Friday, February 18th. I, uh, I hope you're doing well today, and uh, today was a pretty good day for, for me. I got to share baby elephants with my youngest nephew and my wife and sister-in-law at the Henry Dorley Zoo. I highly recommend it. Let's, uh, let's sing to the Lord, shall we? I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you, O oh, my soul. Rejoice, take joy, my King, in what you hear. Let me be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Sweet Holy Spirit, sweet heavenly dove, stay right here with us, filling us with your love. And for these blessings, we lift our hearts in praise. Without a doubt, we'll know that we have been revived when we shall leave this place. Our scripture today is from 1 John chapter 2, verses 12 through 17. I am writing to you, dear children, because your sins have been forgiven on account of his name. I am writing to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I am writing to you, young men, because you have overcome the evil one. I write to you, dear children, because you know the Father. I write to you, fathers, because you know him who is from, from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you are strong, and the word of God lives in you, and you have overcome the evil one. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, comes not from the Father, but from the world. The world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of God lives forever. So this uh, scripture is, starts off with a lot of encouragement. Your sins have been forgiven. You've known who the Father is from the beginning. Young men, you're strong. The Word of God lives in you. You've overcome the evil one. But then there's the warning. Do not love the world or anything in the world. Now, it's not talking about the world that God so loved that he gave his only begotten Son. So he's not talking about the people of the world. He's not talking about the created world. But here he's talking about the world of sin, the the things of the flesh, the things that try to distract us from God. If we look at the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, that ties right back into the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And the story there we find in Genesis, the tree that looked good, it was good for food, that would give them the knowledge of good and evil, make them the same as God. These are the things that we still continue have to look out for. Fortunately, we have each other to help us along. We have God's word to guide us. And we have the Holy Spirit living within us. Let's pray. Good morning, God. We thank you for this day. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, because it's by him and his death and resurrection that our sins are forgiven and we have access to eternal life. God, help us to not love the world. Help us to love you. Help us to love each other. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. And now, beloved, go with God, because God is certainly going with you, and have a blessed day.